The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Looking at you, jumping and dancing, I say, hey, people will do better than our generation. <laughs> yeah. But a few observations that I made that I want you to kind of correct so that you'll be able to uh, pick what you have and top up with what you also have. Now, for observe that when you are praying, you just speak only in tongues. Every prayer, tongues, every prayer, tongues. Paul says that I'll speak with my spirit. So I'll speak in tongues, and then I'll also speak with my understanding. So I realized that even worship, everything, every prayer topic, you just go tons, 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 tons. It is good, but balance it. Balance, because scripture says that we have to speak with our spirit and speak with our understanding. And so, especially the people who be leading the prayer meetings, try and then speak the English, the, the vernacular, and then come in with the tones, miss it. Then when we are worshiping and you are speaking in tones, let us know that we are adoring God and that we are not casting out demons. Uh, and so just take things easy. When you are adoring God, let us adore, let us take it easy and so that we actually worship God. We actually worship God. And then when we are praying and we hold our hands, don't let us behave as if we are chanting. Huh, 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 huh. No. Yes, I mean, you see, Christianity must be reasonable to those who do not even belong to our faith. They should look at it and find that there's some kind of reason in it. Don't let us behave as if we are chanting. And so please pick some of these things. And then I also realized that um, those who were leading the prayer kept distracting the prayer. Every, every second, hey, 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 every second, hey, 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 no. The supplicant should be allowed to pray. Let the people pray. So what we have been doing as a church is that you pray and pray and pray and then we bring songs in it as impetus to just picking up the prayer again and we pray. And so when you are leading prayer meetings, let the supplicants pray every second. And then the, the one leading will talk, talk, talk. No, no, we, we didn't come to hear you. This is prayer meeting. Let the people pray. You understand? So let them pray. And so when it's prayer meeting time, let them pray. Sometimes we do a lot of commentary and very little prayer. So let the commentary be least. And let the prayer go on. So in the Church of Pentecost, traditionally, when we are praying, we will start like you start. But we don't end like you end. We'll be praying because we'll come in with a lot of strength. Then we'll... But because the prayer meeting will tarry for a long time, after a while, you see that people are seated down and they are praying and sobbing. Because the one who will be leading will just give you space to pray. Then they'll be sobbing. Some will be weeping because he just led you to go before your own God. And in the presence of God, they will leave you to talk to your God. Let us try and cultivate this thing so that people will know that they have a personal God. Otherwise, they will always be dependent on the prayer leader. But the prayer leader is supposed to lead us just before God. You understand? Yeah. And so just cultivate that habit. What will make you a strong Christian is when you yourself have cultivated this habit of going to God yourself. If your prayer is just limited to the congregational type of prayer, you will never experience God in, in, as he desires for you to experience. Then one other thing that I also want to bring to your attention is reverence in the house of God. 
Now we have seen that the new churches uh, make a lot of noise, and noise is good. Dancing is good. Uh, many preachers, once they take their mic, the first thing they will say, uh, can we shout? But you see, it isn't all the time that we shout. There are certain times that we need some kind of silence. And the reverence is very important. They taught us that we should have the consciousness that the Lord is in his temple. And this is scripture. He said, let all the earth be silent before him. God is a father. We can be jumping around him. But also remember that he's a holy God. And that reverence is very important. When we miss reverence, we may be losing certain things, our forebears caught and we will not have in our generation. And so reverence is key. I want you to come to be before God and enjoy his presence, but still remember that we are before a holy God. And so when we are singing and then the song leader says, please sit down. Don't remain here. And then be doing some antics for us to see. Because the object of worship is not you. It's God. And so you, you should quickly get lost. So that, no, so that you don't present yourself as somebody ought to, that we ought to see. Now, I, right now that I've come to stand here, my greatest prayer is that you will see his face and hear his voice. It's not about me. Once you begin to hear my voice and see my face, the effect of the message will not go far. And so all of us should try to lift Christ up even when you want to dance. It isn't because you have a new dress, for you, that, that is why you want to come around. Dance as a young a person, but let everything be done to the praise of the one with whom we have come before. And so please pay attention to this ones. And so once the prayer is over, or the, uh, the song is over, please sit down and so that People don't mistake you for God. Yeah. Have I communicated? Fine. Okay.